What's up? So today I'm super pumped to bring you this workout. We've got the best follow along beginner assault bike workout for weight loss. Now this is kind of like the next evolution of my treadmill workout for weight loss, right? I have a whole beginner series on that, but I love this assault bike the best. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Before I get ahead of myself, if you want to go ahead and just skip, skip straight to the workout, just click that link down below in the description or in the comment sections and you can get right ahead and get onto the workout. Now, when we're talking about weight loss, we want to burn fat and we want to build muscle, right? The fat that we lose or the weight that we lose, we want to be losing fat. And a lot of times we're thinking about losing weight, but we do everything we can to lose weight. But sometimes we ended up losing muscle too. We want to preserve that. But the safest and most efficient way, in my opinion, in 2023, the shooting of this video, getting ready for summer is using this assault bike. Okay. So what I've structured in this workout for today is that we're going to do a five minute warm up. Then we've got 10 minutes of work. So we're doing 10 seconds of work and we're going to do 50 seconds of light to moderate work. That's 10 rounds, and then we're gonna finish up with another five minute cool down. So we've got 20 total minutes. This is a 20 minute workout. If you do this three days a week and change nothing, you're gonna lose some weight, okay? So I am, I'm really excited about this one because I do have another assault by workout. It is a little bit harder, and it's a 20 40, which can be challenging, right? Going 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds light. So if you're brand new to using an assault bike, a fan bike, an air bike, or whatever, definitely try adding in this workout. Now, I will always say strength over cardio. Prioritize your strength training. So if you haven't seen it already, check out my strength over cardio workout or not workout, but my strength over cardio video, because I talk about the benefits of strength training and prioritizing that. But if you need the additional, that last little bit to lose some body fat, look no further than using this assault bike. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. We're gonna get into it and we're gonna crush this assault bike workout. All right, so real quick, when you're setting up the bike, ideally, when I sit on here, I already have it set up, but I want the balls of my feet on the pedals, and I want a nice distance, so when I have my hands on here, when it's fully extended, I have a little bend in the elbow. So first adjustment, you're gonna have this bottom thing, you're gonna turn that out, and you're gonna move this forward and back. For me, I'm 5'11", 208, shooting this video, so I'm gonna have it right into the middle. This is kinda like my sweet spot. You wanna have kinda your hips underneath the pedals so you can get very good drive. Sometimes you can even put this all the way forward. It depends, but I don't really like it forward because when I'm really going at it, my arms are coming all the way in. So for my length of my arms and my body, I like this just dead set in the middle. So I'm going level four. This Rogue Echo Bike goes levels one to six, and I'll tighten that up. This one, you're gonna loosen up the seat. So this one goes up and down. If it's too far down and I sit on it, I have so much bend in my knees. You want to get the most drive out of this pedal. So I don't want it too high either because then obviously I, my, my legs are locking out. I won't get good drive and power. So you want to adjust this so you have a soft bend in the knee. So for me, it's level six. That's a good sweet spot for me. I make sure I tighten both of these up. So then when I sit onto the bike, balls of the feet on the pedal, I have a little bend in my elbow and then I have a little bend in my knees. That's just going to get the most power out of the bike. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start. We're gonna set our target time for five minutes. So as you can see, I'm gonna hit the target time. We're just gonna adjust this five minutes and then we're gonna be ready to roll. And we're gonna get right to it. So we got five minutes on the clock. We're just gonna hit it. And we are just loosening up. We're getting warmed up. So for five minutes, I'm just pedaling. I'm not trying to set any records. Um, the beauty of why I love this assault bike so much is that I can just get on here and I can just pedal. Now, when I love this bike because of the fact that it shows the calories on here. So usually for me, when I'm warming up, I'm just looking to hit like about 40 calories. Sometimes I'll get 50 or 60. So nothing too, too crazy, but I'm just pushing through. And we've got five minutes. This is plenty of time. You know, I think 2014 was uh, when I did one of my last fitness model shows. Well, 2015. 2014, I had one of my best training uh, training, I don't know, training regimens for getting ready. And I was using a spin bike, but if I was doing it all over again, I probably would have used an assault bike because that was my morning cardio routine. And honestly, what I loved about it is I didn't have to worry about doing any kind of crazy warm ups. The biggest benefit to this bike is look, I didn't do any foam rolling. I haven't warmed up or anything today. I'm just pedaling on this bike, right? And so you could just hop on this bike cold and you could just get after it. But generally, I do like to spend about five minutes just kind of warming up. You know, a lot of times you'll see a lot of these workouts uh, for the assault bike. 
They have like, you know, even on this bike, you can see it right here onto the handle is a 10, 20 and a 2010, which are pretty brutal. I do have my four minute assault bike workout and it's, uh, it's 20 seconds of work and it's 10 seconds of rest and it's like insane, right? But what we're doing today is a beginner workout. So we've got 10 seconds of work and we got 50 seconds moderate because when we do our 10 seconds of work, we're gonna start off, the first two rounds are gonna be 50%. Okay, the second two rounds, we're gonna go 75% effort. And then the last six rounds, we're gonna go all out, 90 to 100%, and you're gonna give it your all. Now, what's important is that we cool down, because a lot of times, when you're going after it on this bike, you produce so much lactic acid, and that burning sensation in the legs, the muscles are fatiguing. And what ends up happening, sometimes that can just pull up and collect, and then you get like really sore or stiff. So what I found when I do very, very hard assault bike workouts is that I always, if I go at it and my legs are blown up and I fall down onto the ground, which we're not gonna be doing today, it's not crazy, I will have harder workouts. But when we finish up, we wanna hop back on the bike and I do like to cool down for another five minutes. This is my favorite form of cardio to do in my entire life right now. I love this assault bike so much. <laughs> If I had the means and the mechanism, I might create my own, but Rogue Fitness did a pretty damn good job. So I love this Echo bike, it's smooth. You know, There are other brands with belts or uh, chains, and but I like this, it's belt driven. I've had this for over two years, three years now, and I've had all my clients on here that's getting used a lot, and it's fine, nothing's, nothing's going on with it. So we're at 20 calories right now. I think uh, I've been talking, so my pace is a little bit slower, so I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. But regardless of whatever calories I get today, it's purely warming up. Sometimes I hit 40 or 50. You know, usually if I get 50 or 60 calories in five minutes, I'm going a little bit harder, but we got a minute and 30, minute and 35 left to go here. So we're gonna just keep going, pushing through. After we finish this five minutes, we're gonna take a brief pause, and then we're gonna do our custom interval timer, and we're gonna set it for 10 seconds of work, 50 seconds, it says rest, but we're still working on the rest. 50 seconds is gonna be the moderate light work, and we're gonna do that for 10 rounds, okay? But like I was saying earlier, in 2014, when I had to prep for one of my fitness shows, I would just wake up first thing in the morning and I would drink a lot of water. I'd take, you know, I was fasted and I would come in and I would just hop on the spin bike, do that for 20 minutes, and I would do 20, 40, 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds easy. I'd warm up for five minutes, do 20 minutes of that, and then I wouldn't cool down, but as I've learned more over the years, you do need a cool down after that, I'd hop off and I'd do 20 minutes of abs. And I usually do that three or four days a week and then I'd have my five or six days of weight and I was like in crazy shape. But there was a method to that madness and we could talk about that at some other point. So, but I love this bike, like I said, you could just wake up first thing in the morning just like this. You don't need a foam roll or anything, although I do and I would probably prefer, check out one of my foam rolling videos. I have two, I'm gonna link them down below. The upper body and the lower body foam rolling video. You might do one of those to help loosen up if you have some tight spots or check out my individual exercises that I do on my YouTube shorts. And you can watch some of those, help loosen up your body and then come on here. But the beauty of this is I'm short on time. This is my warm up. So we're done, it's five minutes. Well, we're close, here we go. All right, five minutes. So I hit 36 calories, kinda close to 40. I did go at a little bit of a slower pace. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get ready. We're gonna hit stop, we're gonna reset this, all right? custom interval timer set this round we got 10 rounds hit enter and then what we're gonna do we got 10 seconds of work we hit enter 50 seconds of rest and then we're gonna get ready Five, we're gonna get started four, hit the start button three, we're gonna start two, getting after it so we got 50 percent 10 seconds we got 50 percent we're moving but we're not like killing it we're just working so I'm going a little bit harder harder than normal and now we're cruising now my cruising speed might be a lot different than your cruising speed and that's okay, all right? I'm gonna just move a little bit. This is a beginner assault bike workout, so we're not trying to set records, okay? If you hop on this bike three days a week for 20 minutes, it doesn't put any impact on your joints, right? Um, swimming and biking are two of my favorite cardios that if you have any kind of joint issues, they don't place impact in there, right? You can hop on here and just pedal. But if you're doing this three days a week and you change nothing about nothing about your nutrition and anything else, you do everything the same, you're gonna lose weight. And ideally, I like the bike because it doesn't impact 
like running, right? I don't Five, want to bash running. Four, I'll tell you in a second. Three, second round, two, 10 seconds. Let's work a little one. bit. 50%. Pushing. the pops out so I the moms in them. Cut to the mall, top the brand new pair of Timberlands, then dip down a one way, trying to slew up double K. And chill with my people on this bright side. Boom, and we're moderate. So again, that was 50% effort, nothing crazy. All right, we got 50 seconds to catch your breath. Now, I've had clients that I've trained and sometimes 10 seconds all out, a couple of times will screw them up. So I've learned over the years that this bike can be deadly. If you're doing it right, you hate it. You feel like you're gonna pass out, you're gonna get on the floor, you can't move your arms and legs, right? So, but like I was saying, I don't wanna, get too many enemies with running, but running is the best and the worst thing for you. The best almost because it's easy. You go outside, you run. You don't need any equipment like a eight, $900 bike. The bad part about it is it really screws up your joints Five, if you don't have a good gait four, and running and posture and you three, do all your mobility, right? Two, we'll talk more in a second. One, 75%, we're we'll working. A little bit harder than last time. <laughs> but we're not all out. And then we're back off. Nice and easy, that's round three. So I like going two rounds of 50% effort, two rounds of 75. Now I'm thoroughly warmed up. If the warm up didn't already warm you up in the sun, love this good weather. Then the last six rounds will get you. So like even for a beginner workout, I mean, my heart rate's, oh, my watch is dead, but I feel, I don't know, it's about a good 140, 150. Like I could still carry a conversation but I'm definitely working, it's not easy. So we're gonna get this fourth round, 75% effort. I'm gonna finish my little rant about running. <laughs> All right, we're getting there, moving moderate. Four. Three seconds, 75% three, effort. One. Here we go. Mary Jane is the only thing that makes my pain stop. I let the music take over my soul, body, and mind. To kick back, relax one time, and you will find. When the stress burns my brain right. just like so we got four rounds under the under our belt. I should be a little uncomfortable by now because you know they don't call it a workout for nothing. You get uncomfortable. But anyways, about running, it's great because it's easy to do. You can go outside. But again, if you don't foam roll, you don't have the proper running mechanics, it can be bad. So if you're a little bit more overweight, you know, or you have a knee injury like I do, I would recommend a bike. It's a lot better than running because there's no pressure on your joints. You don't put all that unnecessary strain on the body doing this, right? Now, yeah, you can still go out and run and do it. But like I said, if you're looking to preserve your joints and you're looking to get efficient workouts done fast, Five, you do the bike. Four, all right, now let's work three, all out. Two, 10 seconds, one. all right? Here we go. Talent to guess, so God bless Chris to steal loops and keep this shit alive. Something for your troops to sit around and bye bye. Go camel, double the test, the e stress. There we go, all right. Now, I know I can handle this. Yeah, I titled this video for beginners, but honestly, this, even this routine here, can be intermediate to advanced because when you're pushing really hard, the level at which you recover is the most challenging part. You know, pushing, put it into work. It's kind of easy, you gotta show up, you gotta do it. But how fast you recover? So, 50 seconds, it's not that much time when you're going 10 seconds all out. It's like just a sweet spot. So we're at round five. All right, five more rounds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, five. We got five more rounds. Trying to go all out. I'd say five, 90 to 100%. Four, we're gonna three, put in our effort. We're gonna go two, for it. One. Here we go. Ten. Hit it. seconds moderate but again the other beauty of this is I have one of these in my studio I have another bike in my garage so if it's four five o'clock in the morning I could just get up hop on a bike do my five minute warm-up hit my intervals do my five minute cool down and then I can I'll do a little bit mobility loosen up stretch you know I wanted to make this video today because summer 2023 is gonna be your year and if you're watching this in any other date or time, let this be the time that you finally get in the best shape of your life. You get a bike, all right, you make the investment, you try it, just try this workout. 
because coming, Five, you know, four, I've been training for over 20 years three, professionally. Two, I love it. I tell everybody about it. Let's hit it. Yeah, you got me feeling numb. Touching on your body feels like taking on a drum. You got me feeling good. Yeah, you got me feeling numb. Everything. All right, we got three more rounds. You should be feeling a little miserable because if you're not feeling miserable, you're not pushing hard enough. But like I was saying, you know, this is a nice, efficient way of doing it. Why does not more people use this? Because it's effing hard. Your shoulders, my shoulders are blowing up. I'm out of breath. And even I'm just pushing 10 seconds. You know, it's getting to me a little bit. Because the level and intensity which you put in will dictate how hard the workout is. So if you give it your all, even the beginner workout that I put together, you know, if you're having a hard time with 10 seconds, maybe you try five. Because sometimes you get your 10 seconds of work, you're barely even moving because you're exhausted. Four, but that's okay. Three, two, Add this in a couple days a week. All right, two more rounds. We're getting there. We're at 93 calories. For context, I did a Rogue Fitness Echo Bike Hammer Challenge earlier this year. It was the hardest, hardest five minutes of cardio I've ever done in my life. But I did 114 calories in five minutes. And if you watch the video, I literally fall off the bike. My legs, my arms, everything was exhausted, but I did it. So we're at 96 calories. And this is definitely like half the amount of work. But it's a challenge, like I'll challenge you. Set your timer for five minutes one day and go all out. Now I'll have a routine of how to train for that. Four, more to come in a three, future video, but two, two more rounds. One. Right. 102, we're so close, we're almost there. Now if your shoulders are burning, you can always take your hands off a little bit. I'll bring them up. I might bring them up high. Stretching and moving around, I might do some arm circles on each side. Maybe you feel like your arms are getting numb. You know, circulation. So move your arms around. But uh, whew, we're almost there. We're so close. We got one more round, 10 seconds. And we're gonna come down to our cool down. All right. If you aren't pushing it, this is the round, the last round, your final round. You gotta go all out. So if you were saving some energy in a tank, Five, time to let it out now. Four, three, all right, 10 seconds. Two, Here we go, one. hit it. Fall in love, but we still feel curious. Yeah, got a man, but she still experiments. Yeah, got a shot, so we point blank here. Ah. Ooh, 170. All right, we're almost there. Part of the cool down. 45 seconds left to this all. Oh, feeling miserable. Ah. Which is good, it's good. Misery, you know that video, the power of perseverance. A little bit of misery, a little bit of agony, a little bit of discomfort and pain is sometimes necessary to take your body to a place it's never been. That last one got me, I'm not gonna lie. Whew. All right, we're going easy. 120. You know what? Here's 15 seconds. Be the first or your last. Run in circles for the cash. Got a heart like a hammy. Give this shit a little gas. Shit don't last forever. I just want to make it last. Yeah. I made a habit out of looking ha. on the bright side. Ha. My phone is dead every time I need a light. Oh, 129. I didn't go hard enough. I was looking for 130. All right. Can take a second? A little extra. This is how you should normally feel. You should feel like passing out. I don't feel like passing out. My heart's just racing. <sighs> Breathe, take your time, gather yourself. All right, I know, beginner workout, push it pretty hard, but who cares? I needed the title to get you here to put in the work, so we're gonna hit stop. I did 129 calories, okay? Now, I'm gonna hit custom or target time, five minutes. Start, we're back on. While I'm out of breath, now we're cooling down. We got five minutes on the clock, let's go. All right. Whew. All right. If you made it this far, if you're still here, 
doing this video. Congratulations. You're one of the few. Because again, I put a lot of effort and time into these videos. And if you've been following me for a long time, I do apologize lately. I know my content. I haven't done a lot of the following workouts because I've been doing a lot of individual exercise videos. And honestly, that's where my content's headed now, especially with the algorithm, YouTube shorts, you know, fortune favors YouTube shorts right now. So I gotta put my, my energy into that. But when I first started this channel, I didn't do it for me. I did it for you, right? I knew that I could inspire and impact more people with these workouts. And then my clients, even if you're not my client, you're just a subscriber on YouTube or you stumbled upon this video. I didn't have access to this when I was 16 and 17. I tell this story all the time. My Bible of fitness was a men's maximum fitness magazine. You know, back in 98, Oh, maybe back in 2000, I was a sophomore in high school, I think that's when I got my first magazine subscription. And I kid you not, when that magazine came in the mail, it was like Christmas. I would open that thing up and look at all the exercise routines. I had my pictures and I would go try them at the gym. You know, and I liked Maximum Fitness at the time. Unfortunately, they, they discontinued a magazine, but Oxygen Magazine for Women is a sister publication. It was my favorite because it was a little bit more functional. The people didn't look so roided out. <laughs> you know, a typical RX muscle fitness. And I'm not knocking bodybuilders. I love bodybuilding. But they are freaking juiced out of their minds. And their workouts, I tried to the workouts, they take like two hours. <sighs> two and a half hours. Who's got time for that? The average person. Now, you know, if I meet up with a buddy or if it's a Saturday, I might spend two, two and a half hours at the gym, do mobility 20 minutes warming up another 10 minutes, working out, taking rest breaks for a couple hours, hour and a half, stretching for 20 minutes. It's my therapy. And this should be your therapy, you know? Because more so than just for the aesthetics and the, the physicality, yeah, you're gonna look better. You're gonna move, feel better, right? But also your mental health is so important. That's not talked about enough. Because a lot of people, they might take anti-anxiety medication, depression medication. But you know what? Maybe someone hasn't told you that exercise is the best antidepressant and anxiety medication you can ever get, right? Now I know if your doctor or whoever you're working with has prescribed that and you are exercising, there might be something in your life that's out of balance. And you know what? I get that feeling too. You know, sometimes I get stressed out, you know, in my world with my clients, are they gonna have a good workout? Is this YouTube video gonna get a lot of views? Are people gonna like this video? You know, you know, I might have my own things, but we all have our own battles, but exercise is something that I could always rely on, where if I'm feeling sad, mad, happy, stressed, I could always use that energy, whether negative or positive energy, and put it into a good workout. You're in control of your body. You are in control of what you do day to day. So make a good choice. If you are depressed or you do have anxiety and you're not working out, get on it. You don't have to hire me as an online coach, although you could, but find a trainer near you, right? Get a coach. If you wanna go run, you don't wanna bike, fine. Get a running coach, but learn how to do it properly. Quit wasting time trying to figure it out by yourself because I didn't learn everything by myself. I had great coaches, you know? My, my best coach in my life, Coach Herb, I mean, he passed away in 2019 and was sad because I thought I would continue working with him for a long time. You know, I had my first coach for about a couple years. Herb was my second. Yeah, I co he coached me for like five years. I, I started personal training at a corporate club and um, he was there, he was a regional trainer. He wrote out my meal plans, workout plans. I paid him for it every month. And, um, and then also I was new to the game He'd already had 20 years experience and I had like three. <laughs> so, you know, I would have my clients sign up with him for meal plans. And then I learned so much more about nutrition. So I've invested in myself. I've invested in my business, you know, doing these YouTube videos. Nobody knows, but it's like, it's like a second mortgage between cranking out the videos, getting my videographer, five minutes is done. Great job, 23 calories. I was, again, cool down, supposed to be light, but you know, I've invested so much in this channel because I feel I have a greater purpose. 
And I know life is not guaranteed. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow may never come. You know, I don't want to get on the story, but my uncle passed away recently. I didn't really know him, but I went to his funeral. It's the fifth funeral I've ever been to. And uh, it was hard. It was the hardest one. You know, I was one of the pallbearers. I had to carry the casket. Um, you know, I nearly lost it when the, he was in the army. Um, and so they did a military service. And, you know, those guys that came up, they were folding up the flag. They got down on one knee. I nearly started bawling, like crying, but I held it together. It was hard. But, um, you know, I never really got to know him. And, um, you know, his life was cut short. And every single time that it's someone in my life that I know has passed away, it reminds me that life is not forever. And death and taxes, right? I learned that in like fourth grade. It's always guaranteed. So I know while I'm here alive on earth, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure I help you, my clients, my family, my loved ones, everybody I know to help get in better shape so they can really change their lives sort of better. Because had my uncle maybe been using this bike or even my dad, dad, if you're watching this, God, I care about you. He's going through the same thing. He's overweight, swollen legs. If you have poor circulation, you need to move. Use a bike. Like, it doesn't place any impact. I'm not asking you to go out and run or go walk. Go walk if you don't have a bike. But if you have this bike, man, this thing is awesome. You know, even for a beginner workout that I filmed today, like, it's tough. So, please put in the energy, put in the time, effort, and resources to learn as much as you can about fitness and better your health because it will make you feel, move, and look better. You can get off all your medications that you may or may not be taking and start taking supplements and vitamins that can actually help better you. And like I say, if you don't invest in the time now to take care of yourself, you won't do it on your terms. You're going to have to do it on the doctor's terms or someone else's. So make sure when you're working out, you make the choice. Do the therapy and the needs required to better your health on your terms, not because a doctor said you have to. Okay, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you. If you'd like, please subscribe. It'll really help me out. And send this video to a lot of family and friends or loved ones or people that you care about that want to get in better shape and using this assault bike. Again, I appreciate you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course, I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You're gonna see my name up on a flag. I feel the shit and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on a line to attack. Never look back, I make a record like crash Top of my bracket I smash, I'm like a pack I'm about to stack it like cash, it's gonna happen so fast It never changed my mind